Hey guys, I'm back with another video. I realise it's been quite a while since my last one. I really do apologise. Things get in the way, life gets in the way, and I haven't been as consistent as I wanted to be. But I'm going to keep pushing this. Um, I really, really enjoyed doing it, and I think watching the transformation that I've had post pre surgery, sorry, to post surgery is sometimes even an eye opener for me. The response I've received since making the videos has been crazy and I've been finding it hard to comprehend and understand. The messages I've been receiving from people have been lovely and, you know, it was always my intention to kind of just make people feel more comfortable and make them realise that this is just a thing that people go through and everyone has their own thing to deal with. This is just our one, you know, IBD, people who live with IBD or if you're going to have a stoma or already have a stoma, you know, you should just kind of take it in your stride and keep moving forward and pursue what you want to pursue and chase your dreams and just because we have this stoma, this this thing, this little bag right here, it doesn't mean that we can't do what we want to do or if we're any less able than anyone else who doesn't have one. So that's kind of the message I've been trying to push across and genuinely if I could have just helped one person feel more comfortable about themselves or feel less worried about having the surgery then that was my intention and thankfully it's, a lot of people have been messaging me thanking me or you know just being able to relate to the videos and that's all I wanted like I said for me personally it's been about nine and a half months now since my surgery and boy it's been it's gone so quickly I, I, I'm just picturing myself making that first video sitting right here you know 20 kilos lighter <laughs> slightly worried as to what the outcome would be and you know who would have thought you know nine months later I'm feeling great things are going in the right direction you know I'm really really pushing what I want to do and I've met a whole load of cool people who really like want to help me and you know it's it's crazy what what happens when you're in like a positive state of mind you know you kind of have this positive aura and energy around you, you know it draws other people in and I'm really grateful that I have that and I'm just trying to spread that to everyone else and make them realize that just believe in yourself and like I said because we have this thing which sucks at times don't get me wrong it's not all you know beautiful things and colors and happy times no there are times that suck but you have to push through them and really just kind of remember the end goal which is just to live a normal life and yeah I become quite passionate when I speak about this stuff to be honest um, because I just feel like not only has this journey kind of made me realize that I'm capable of doing anything anyone else is but it's really made me realize the the kind of it's made me realize how much people should enjoy their lives man I'm striving to kind of just live a lifestyle where I just do what I want and you know spread positivity and a good message and you know meet amazing people and travel and just experience new things and that's kind of the lifestyle I'm trying to push now and live you know I just want to be healthy that's the main thing and I feel like doing all of these things I've just mentioned is 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 that allows me to kind of push towards that target so yeah that's that's kind of me right now <laughs> the video I'm going to show now is of my first gym session back um yeah, this was a few months ago, so obviously since then things have improved slightly. But yeah, I just thought it's it's quite a funny, quite a funny little sequence of events that happens at the gym, and you see me struggling a lot and very light weights and poor, poor form. But please do forgive me; they do improve slightly. Um, yeah, so please really do enjoy that. If you have any comments, please feel free to drop me a message. I'm more than happy to speak to anyone, no matter how nervous you are. You can remain anonymous, whatever it is. Uh, like I said, I'm more than happy to help anyone, whatever the situation, whatever they're feeling. Please feel free to message me. Before that little segment commences, however, I've had an idea where perhaps maybe a live question and answer session regarding IBD or stomas or Crohn's. Um, maybe I'm, I'm p potentially thinking of holding one like on Facebook Live or Periscope or all those kind of social media platforms. So I just wanted to know what people thoughts, people's thoughts on that were whether they'd be interested in participating and asking me questions and obviously I'd be there to share them, share my experiences, um, talk about whatever it is regarding IBD and stomas, um, potentially get some sponsors or perhaps get one of the charities to kind of promote it as well, um, host it even. Um, so yeah, I just want to know your thoughts on that. Please feel free to comment, send me a message or whatever. If um, I find that people may feel they may benefit from it, I'm more than happy to do that and I think I'd really enjoy doing that to be honest. So yeah, I'm going to play the video now. Please do enjoy it and we will speak very soon. Peace and love. Uh, 
Now it's filming, the red button's on. Alright guys, at the gym. Um, excited for this day, been waiting four months. Uh, ordered my little support belt, it's finally arrived. Uh, so in case I drop a dumbbell, my stoma doesn't get squashed. There's a little hole in it. You've got to kind of put it back through. Yeah, yeah, sweet. And Cambodia is just a nice spot. You get anything from Thailand, partying, or just... Oh, like culture. Yes. So I'm with my, with my good friend Michael. <laughs> and we're just going to do a quick chest workout. So uh, I'm excited. We got up at 6.30 for this. Really excited that um, I'm able to get up at that time. And uh, looking forward to this little session. So I'm just going to film uh, throughout the session a couple of little exercises and workouts we do. And then do a little review at the end. So wish us luck. Anyway, guys. Heave! Oh! Marid Hercules Majid. Last set. Wish me luck. You can do it, you can do it. Yes. Whew. How'd you feel? <laughs> yeah man, working out muscles that haven't worked out in a few years. It's a nice feeling, but hopefully that will weight will increase gradually. I'm taking it easy man, I know not to overdo it. Um, but yeah, on to the next workout. <laughs> Such a heavy weight. <laughs> Damn. Damn, Michael. <laughs> One day I'll be lifting those. That's the dream. But for now, <laughs> we're lifting these. <laughs> <laughs> They're heavier than they look. <laughs> You look like you're doing pregnancy maneuvers. Don't clench your fingers. Yes, sir. Oh, he's doing done. it, he's doing it. <laughs> done, Bob. It's on camera. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes. So it's the last chest exercise. It has been a quite a rigorous workout. Um, but I'm feeling good. Uh, I'm glad I came. Thank you, Michael, for accompanying me. You're welcome. And let us uh, excuse all the bad form. Uh, I'm working on it. Wish me luck. <laughs> Jesus. One more, one more, one more. You can do it. Yes, you can do it. Uh, at least you tried. <laughs> My chest feels like it's floating. Alright. Triceps. 
Look at the weight. <laughs> look, can't look at the weight in it. So yeah guys, that kind of concludes today's gym session. It's been um, an eye-opener. Just a little disclaimer, forgive me for all the bad form, the weird faces. Um, yeah, I'm working on that. Uh, as you can tell, I'm quite drained, but I feel really good. Uh, I'm really excited for moving forward now. Uh, the stoma was completely fine with the support belt. Like, uh, even my clumsy self, you know, I didn't drop anything on it. And if, if that was to happen, then, you know, it's fully protected. So, like, like I mentioned, I'm looking forward to, you know, making this a bit more of a routine and uh, seeing how my body develops. But right now, I'm uh, going to go home, have a shower and eat lots. So, um, yeah, thank you guys and I'll see you around. Thank you, Michael. Wait.